Hi, thanks for tuning in, and today we have an exciting new review, and this time it's a powerful new TV box for those who love high-end boxes. This box is the CSA 96, Rockship RK3399, Hexacore Android 6.04K TV box. After the break, I have a full review of its hardware and features, and we'll see if this device is worth buying. So stay tuned, I'll be back in a minute. So let's begin. The CSA 96 comes in this solid blue box with only some branding at the top, and it says it's a Rockship RK3399 which is the CPU, and it's a 4K UHD TV box. There are no other specifications on the outside, so I'll just highlight its specifications while unpacking the contents of the box. The CSA 96 runs on the powerful 64-bit RK3399 hexa-core CPU, running up to 2.0 GHz. This CPU comprises of two cores, a dual-core Cortex-A72, and a quad-core Cortex-A53 for a total of six cores. Its display is powered by the Mali T860 quad-core GPU, running up to 650 MHz. It comes with 4 GB of DDR3 RAM, and 32 GB of eMMC internal storage. It comes with 802.11ac dual-band Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth 4.0. In the box, you have the CSA96 TV box itself. You get this infrared remote, which is simple to use and controls the basic functions of the box, however, if you are interested in advanced functions, or you intend on programming the Kodi application to stream free movies and TV shows, then you may want to consider purchasing an omnidirectional mini touchpad keyboard, or a Bluetooth or mouse for easy navigation. Don't get me wrong, you can use the stock remote to do all of the above, but when it comes to typing letters and trying to perform a touch function like zooming in, then you'll see how sometimes it becomes a challenge. See the link in the description area for more information. As we proceed, you get one HDMI cable. They were very nice to include this white USB Type-C cable which also performs as an OTG cable. You get a 5V 2.5A power adapter, with a range of 100 to 240 volts. And you get this quick setup guide. Let's examine the box. The CSA 96 comes in two colors, black and silver. It's made of plastic, and it's so well designed it looks and feels like polished metal. To the back, you have one HDMI port, one optical audio port, one RJ45 Ethernet LAN port, a reset pinhole button, and a DC power input. To the right, you have one SD card slot, one USB 2.0 port, one USB 3.0 port, and one USB Type-C port. These different USB ports provides the latest in USB connection technology, and provide users with super-fast data transfer speeds between the box and the latest external storage devices. To the left, you have an infrared receiver. To the front, you have an LED power light and a power button. At the top, you have a Rockship sticker with some branding. And to the bottom, you have some ventilation holes. So it's time to set up this box on my TV, and when I return we'll continue. So I'm connected and ready to go, and as I start up the box, it shows this Android startup animation for a couple of seconds, and then we're presented with this launcher. The launcher has this simple layout, with large buttons and with the option to add shortcuts. The launcher comes with a status bar at the top, and a navigation bar at the bottom. To access the navigation bar simply swipe in an upwards motion at the bottom of the screen to reveal it. If you go to the apps section, here we have all the apps laid out horizontally in large display, with the option to swipe to access more apps. The CSA 96 comes with your usual system apps, and you have additional apps like Facebook, Twitter, Skype, YouTube, and Kodi. To complete my review, I'll include my usual set of system information and benchmarking applications, and when I return I'll continue. 
so I've installed all the apps I need, and first let's check if this box is rooted. It shows that the box is rooted, running on Android 6.0 Marshmallow operating system. This opens up full access to the Google Play Store, to download and install any app without restrictions. Let me now show you how to access the updates feature, and we'll also check to see if there are any new available updates. And it says that it's the latest version, which means that there are no available updates at this time. Let's take a look at its system and hardware information. Under system information, here it shows that the manufacturer is Rockship, and the model is the CSA96Q4. Below it shows that the box has 4GB of DDR3 RAM, and below it shows the remaining memory and internal storage from the 32GB after the operating system and the apps installed on the box. Under CPU information, it shows that the CPU is a 64-bit Cortex A72, plus a Cortex A53 for a total of 6 cores, running up to 2.0 GHz. It also shows that this device has support for 32 and 64-bit ABIs, which allows it to run both 32 and 64-bit applications. Under display information, it shows your screen resolution, and it shows that the display is powered by the Mali T860 quad-core GPU, with a refresh rate of 60 Hz. Under network information, it shows that the box has support for 802.11ac dual-band Wi-Fi, and it also shows its signal strength link speed and frequency. Under Android information, it shows the version installed is Android 6.0 Marshmallow, and below it also shows that the box is rooted. Under thermal information, the box runs around 55 to 60 degrees Celsius on normal cooling, and around 40 to 50 degrees on passive cooling. Under Codex information, it shows that you have codecs like H.264, HEVC, and VP90 coding, all needed for 4K video playback. And that's it for system and hardware information, and we now move on to the benchmarks. First, I have the results from the memory read and write speeds. The CSA96 has a RAM copy speed of 9600.83 MB per second. The internal memory has a read speed of 139 MB per second and a write speed of 78. The SD card slot has a read speed of 25 MB per second and a write speed of 17. You would normally see these kinds of high scores coming from the RK3399 boxes, making them ideal for running more demanding applications. I now have the results from the Wi-Fi speed test. The scores I got were not that impressive on my internet package. However, the box is capable of achieving much better scores on a network over 100 megabytes, like a fiber network with much higher speeds. We now have the results from the Antutu benchmark. When all tests were complete, the CSA96 got an Antutu score of 78,036. This score is again higher than the average TV box. Next, we have the results from the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark. After the series of time tasks were complete, the CSA96 scored a Geekbench 4 score of 1,370 single core and 2,629 multi core. And for my final benchmark, I have the Ice Storm Extreme 3D graphics benchmark. After all the 3D graphics tests were complete, the CSA96 got a score of 10,313. This is a very high score, in fact, it's one of the highest Ice Storm Extreme GPU scores I ever got on my channel, which is good news for gaming. I will now run some 4K video samples to test the box's 4K playback capability. These video samples were loaded onto the box's internal storage for optimal playback performance.
So the 4K video samples played quite well, with one of the jellyfish videos at 400 megabits per second playing with a little hesitation in the beginning. Let's open YouTube and run a sample 4K video. The YouTube application runs in HD 1080p quality, but not in 4K quality on my TV. And for my final demonstration, I'm running some games to test the real-time gaming performance on this device. After all, it comes with high-end hardware, so let's take in some gaming action. These games contains fighting, so parental discretion is advised. so the games ran smoothly, and the 3D graphics was of a high quality. So in summary, the CSA96 is a high-end TV box that meets all the requirements of most TV box enthusiasts. It has a hexa-core CPU running up to 2.0 GHz. It has a quad-core Mali T860 GPU, the box is rooted, it comes with 32 GB of internal storage, and it has dual-band Wi-Fi support. The box does not overheat, you can watch unlimited streams of free movies and TV shows, it plays 4K videos up to 60 frames per seconds, and the 3D gaming experience was of a high quality. On the flip side, this box has room for some improvements. They could have implemented DDR4 memory instead of DDR3, 64GB of internal storage instead of 32, a wireless air mouse, and Android 7.1 would have been a nice addition. However, Android 7.1 should be available via firmware updates, which we will sure to see in the future. So I'm giving the CSA 96 my personal reviewer's choice endorsement for accessibility, high performance, and hardware. I've come to the end of my review of the CSA 96 Hexacore 4K TV box. If you would like to get your hands on this amazing device, it is currently being sold at 13 to 14 percent discount, and it is in limited supply. Use the link provided in the description area below this video to take advantage of this offer. This also helps to support this channel and my website, and it assists me in bringing more TV box reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video if you found it informative, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel for more TV Box Stop videos.